Hi, my name is Thaddeus and I am from Bodo South Secondary School, Singapore. Today I'm excited to share my crystal growing experience with you. I have a great interest in crystallography. That is why I wanted to participate in this competition. My goal is to grow a multicolored crystal as I have not done it before. While researching for some information online, I stumbled upon this article which talks about a crystal whose color can vary between yellow, green, and blue depending on the temperature and lighting conditions that it grew in. Isn't it miraculous? This crystal is composed of two chemicals, namely potassium ferrocyanide and potassium aluminium sulfate, also commonly known as alum. Do you want to know how I grew this crystal? Let's find out. Well. I first made a super saturated solution by dissolving alum with 18 grams of potassium ferrocyanide in 300 milliliters of deionized water. I then set the solution in an undisturbed place overnight for seed crystals to form. The next day, I went back and selected the best seed crystal and tied it to an ice cream stick using nylon string to reduce the number of nucleation sites for unwanted precipitation. After all that is done, I suspended the crystal in the solution for it to grow as a single crystal. In the end, my crystal doubled its mass from 1.6 grams to 3.2 grams in just over a period of one month. For my crystal, there are a few factors which can affect its growth, but I'll be sharing with you only two which I find most important. The first factor is the amount of light and heat supply given to the solution. This can cause the reaction between alum and potassium ferrocyanide to produce blue tones. The other factor is the number of nucleation sites. The more number of nucleation sites there is, the smaller the average crystal size. Therefore, lesser nucleation sites is preferred. Undoubtedly, I faced many difficulties during the experiments, namely time constraint and one of my crystals dissolving back into the solution. The crystal also had a very slow growth rate and it was also very difficult for it to grow more blue spots. But nevertheless, I continued to cultivate my crystal with tender loving care and in the end, this is the final product. To end this video, I would like to express my gratitude towards my teachers Mr. Huang and Ms. Chong for giving me the opportunity to participate in this competition and supporting me. I hope you enjoyed my video.